É, Eden, você, é, você poderia nos falar sobre Kai Soto, né? E, e sobre a matéria que você escreveu no Daily Nix? Ele é o novo Yao Ming, ou carinha do Jabá das Filipinas? In English, could you tell us né, about Kai Soto that you wrote né, about him in the Daily Nix? Is he a Ming, Yao Ming ou Karim Abdul Jabbar from the Philippines? So Kai Soto, it's a uh, those are some big names to compare him to. He, um, for one thing, he has a massive fan base, so he is really, really loved in the Philippines. Um, and he he's had kind of an interesting career to this point. Um, he was going to play in the G League for Ignite. But there were some kind of COVID, some sort of COVID issues where he wanted to play with the national team, um, and it didn't work out. So then he ended up playing in Australia um, with the NBL. But yeah, he had a workout with the Knicks this past week, and a, a good amount of teams. I want to say ten or twelve different teams uh, worked him out. So you know, he's he's gathering a lot of interest from a bunch of teams around the NBA. Uh... O que, que você poderia falar a mais, né, uh, uh, sobre Kai Soto? What more uh, accent about uh, Kai Soto? Yeah, so I think a lot of people are really interested because one, his size, he's enormous. Um, I've seen him listed at 7'4". I think he's closer to 7'2", 7'3". Exactly. So he's enormous. Um, but it's not just the size. Like, he, he can shoot... Um, He runs the floor pretty well, so it's not one of these things where he's just tall and just kind of a project. I think people have seen some flashes of, of different, you know, areas of the game where they say, hey, maybe this is someone in a couple of years from now could be a really dominant player. Um, but again, he's been playing in Australia, so I think a lot of teams want to get a kind of closer look at him. That's why he's getting all of these workouts, um, just to see, you know, really what they have in Kai Soto. Um, but it's easy to see why people are really excited about him. Ah, I like Kai Soto. I see, I saw, né, highlights, highlights, né, from, from this player. I love this man, guy. I love. <laughs> uh, yeah, Vitor mentioned uh, a lot of channels, a lot of reports, uh, mention about Kai Soto and how, how talent he is because, uh, because uh, about his size, he can, he can play. And he have mobility. is 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 hard find someone with with this type of that this type of player, for example, with the skills and uh, this this possibility to play the game and have the size. So, yeah, and I think that's the thing, right? It's because not only is he enormous, enormously tall, but he ha he has certain skills that you kind of look for in in, in NBA big men, um, especially nowadays. You know, guys who can stretch the floor, shoot, pass a little bit. Um, he still has a long way to go. You know, it's kind of, it's hard to, it's hard to tell when someone's coming from the Australian league where they, where they really stack up um, among other NBA big men. Um, he'll probably need to add some weight um, as well. But that stuff comes with time. You know, it could be a couple of years. So, um, you know, I think some team is definitely going to want to, want to spend one of their picks on Soto just to, um, You know, just to see what they have in a couple of years, because he could be a special player. You, you know, you never know. E seria um exagero, Eden, uh, comparar esse jogador com Yao Ming e Karim Abdul-Jabbar, como eu vi falando sobre esse jogador? <laughs> Translate for him, Bruno. Okay, yeah. Uh, Victor mentioned, yeah, if is is this is uh, uh, overreacting, for example, when the people compare him with players like Yao Ming and Karim Abdul-Jabbar, because they are landed in, in in this league, so it's it's hard, man, for his shoulder, bring this to the league. You understand? Yeah, well, that's the thing. The, his, his fan base is so pa passionate that they they really hype him up. I mean, he's got a ton of fans in the Philippines because he'd be the first. Um, Philippine player in the NBA, so he has that pressure on his shoulders. I'm not going to compare him to Kareem or Yao myself. Um, I mean, there's other big men in this draft, you know, Holmgren and, and Duran, who are definitely going to, I would assume, go higher than Soto in this draft. Um, you know, I'm trying to think of some comparisons off the top of my head. It's it's interesting because, like I said earlier, he he's good at a lot of different little things. You know, I can't exactly pinpoint what kind of player he's going to be. Um, 
you know, the Yao Ming comparison, he, I can kind of see where they're going with that just because of the extreme size and how well he moves. Like Yao Ming, you know, uh-huh. for how tall Yao Ming was, could move very yeah. well. So I can see where that one's um, coming from. But um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's really hard to say where he's going to go in the draft. Um, so if someone does believe he has that type of potential, um, you know, definitely worth taking a shot on. Bem, cara, é o seguinte, é, ele, basicamente o que ele disse, né, a respeito do Kai Soto, é que ele tem uma base de fãs muito grande, né, um jogador nacional, né, é, é uma expectativa muito grande das Filipinas, que nunca teve um jogador assim antes, né, e tal, e é fora dos requisitos que ele tem, né, porque é um jogador extremamente alto, com mobilidade, o que é bem atrativo, né, ele teve a possibilidade de ir pro Ignite para jogar de league, só que a questão de Covid e outras coisas acabou indo jogar na Austrália, né, na NBL e vem mostrando é, bons requisitos lá né? é, um jogador, é um jogador bem diferente e tal, para a posição de center ali ele tem que ganhar mais massa, corpo né? mas consegue, consegue é, superar isso com, com mobilidade né? com bom chute, de, com bom chute né? tanto de fora quanto do, é, fora do perímetro quanto no perímetro e, e mostrou esses requisitos né? é ele se reuniu com o Knicks na semana passada, né, e tal, ele, ele vem sendo um pouco assediado na, na questão do, 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 do draft, porque ele mostrou é, condições de jogo, né, para jogar na NBA, é, em torno de 10 ou 12 equipes, é, também mostraram interesse, né, então ele vai receber um certo tipo de assédio nesse, nesse, nesse draft, né, e, e vamos ver, né, o que pode acontecer. É, ele menciona né, que, a, como eu já tinha fa- falado anteriormente, a, a base de fãs dele é muito grande, né? E, e, eles, e eles... é o primeiro filipino na NBA, é um jogador extremamente alto e tal. Então todos esses requisitos né, é, fazem com que eles fiquem, eles fiquem super animados com esse jogador. Né, que com, e comparem ele, ele com, e compara ele com, com lendas né, da NBA, como Yao Ming e, e o carinho do Jabá. Né? É, e, ele até mencionou, né, o Adam mencionou, que ele consegue ver né, alguma coisa entre o Yao Ming, mas não na questão de como ele vai na liga né, e tal, mas é, pela questão de ser um jogador que vem, que vem da Ásia, né, com expectativa, ser um jogador muito alto, com mobilidade, né, consegue fazer um bom trabalho ali, se movimentar muito bem, espaçar a quadra, é, dar passe, ser um, um, um center ali que consegue fazer isso tudo, né, e que devido a todos esses fatores, né, é, vale a pena arriscar num jogador, num jogador assim, né, e tal, para poder jogar, né, é, na, na NBA e ter, e ter em seu time, né, é, e, e além disso, né? ele já está acostumado com a pressão, né? principalmente que recebe nas Filipinas, né? de ser esse primeiro jogador é, filipino na, na liga, né? e que isso já por si só já é muita pressão né? de, de representar as Filipinas na, na NBA. É, 